I'm Erica Toll. I was a 2016 Knauss Legislative Fellow, and I worked for the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee, Subcommittee on Oceans, Atmosphere, Fisheries, and Coast Guard. My name's Stuart Levenbach, and I was a Knauss Fellow in 2007, and I preferenced being a Legislative Fellow. I really wanted to take my scientific training and learn how science translates to policy and I felt like in order to do that and sort of make a difference towards conservation, which is something that I really care about, I needed to learn something about how science actually translates into law and I felt like the best way to do that would be on Capitol Hill in a legislative fellowship. I was placed in the Senate Commerce Committee and at the time the Republicans were in the majority, I was with the Republican staff. There were very few opportunities for a marine scientist to be able to to work on Capitol Hill and that was really a dream of mine. I liked it so much I decided to stay and I was fortunate to be hired in the White House Office of Management and Budget where at first for the first five years I worked on the budget for NOAA and then I transitioned into another part of the office where we review and coordinate the review across the federal government of significant nationally significant environmental regulations. I had the really cool opportunity to write a memo to all of the members of Congress telling them what we already know about hurricane forecasting and research and what technologies are out there that may improve track forecasting, intensity forecasting of hurricanes, how it affects people in the United States, and how it affects our economy when we don't have good forecasts. There is a section of a weather bill that the House has introduced and the Senate is going to work on this year that has pieces of improved hurricane forecasting in that bill. I worked on almost 10 bills during the course of the year, and that included bills that affected harmful algal blooms, coral reef conservation, integrated ocean observing systems, a ballast water bill that impacted the discharge of invasive species in our coastal waters. This skill of being able to translate science into something that's digestible to all is something that's very valued. I mean, just critically important that we have people with training in science engaging with decision makers. And I've just found that they tend to value that input and make better decisions as a result. At least in the committee that I work for in the Senate, and at least on the issues that I work on on the Ocean Subcommittee, I've found that it has been extremely bipartisan. In fact, on the majority staff, we take almost all of our meetings with the minority staff. How can you be effective even when you're in the minority party? How can you build coalitions? How can you find common ground with people? And I was amazed at how bipartisan it was on the Senate Commerce Committee the year that I, I served on it. That's one of the most surprising and great things that I learned this year was how to work well across the aisle. Being in the minority in some ways gives Canals Fellows a greater opportunity to develop some really important skills that will help them regardless of where they go after the experience. If you have that knowledge of how legislation moves and how policy is crafted and you have that technical scientific background that you have to have in order to be a, a Canals Fellow. I think that is a very marketable skill and has helped me leverage um, a new position at NOAA, the agency where I will be working on some legislative engagement. And, um, and I think that I got that job in large part due to being a legislative fellow. I've worked on some major regulations affecting the oceans, affecting land management, oil and gas activity, and it has just been a really, really interesting experience and that it wouldn't have happened were it not for the Canals program. The opportunity to learn is, is something that I really valued during this year to attend congressional briefings and learn so much about the different programs in NOAA that um, it's sort of like academia in that sense that you're constantly learning and going to seminars and you have a really great amount of resources at your fingertips. If I could do it all over, I would definitely request a, a legislative branch assignment. It, I think it, it exceeded my expectations. I formed great friendships that I still have today with everybody that I worked with. It gave me some great skills and it, it was a springboard to a job that I've enjoyed for the last 10 years.